Hi, in this playlist we're going to be looking at questions that involve bearings. Uh, these type of questions are usually aimed at around about grade 4 GCSE, although I've seen them at uh, around about grade 5 as well. They are fairly straightforward, but the things you've got to remember about them is that bearings are always from the north and then clockwise. So the important thing here is that it says ship C is on a bearing of 065 degrees from ship A. Okay, so this is ship A here, and what we need to do now is create a line which is 65 degrees from the north clockwise, clockwise direction. Now I'm going to use this particular type of protractor, um, however yours might be slightly different. Uh, this one is sort of built into a set square, but hopefully you can see that I've measured this at 65 degrees. So if I draw a line from A where this particular ship is, I know then that ship C is going to be somewhere on this bearing. So what you've got to do is you've got to imagine that you're sitting on board this ship at A and you're looking off towards your right hand side at 65 degrees and somewhere along the horizon you're going to see um, ship C. Okay, and it's the same situation from ship B, but this time what we're told is it's 295 degrees. Now remember what I'm saying is that it has to go from the north, so from ship B north, but clockwise so we're actually going to measure 295 degrees around and it's going to be up there somewhere so um, 360 degrees in a full circle so it's going to be just a little bit short of a full circle now there's a couple of different ways of doing this you can either just use um, 180 degrees and then add a little bit more to it what i'm going to do in this particular case i'm going to say well a full circle is 360 degrees and I want to work out 295 so the difference is going to be 65 again okay so in this particular case then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another line at 65 degrees from B and again hopefully you can see this is 10 20 30 40 50 60 and 65 so I'm just going to put a little dot in there okay and draw this line across okay now what I have then worked out is that this angle is 65 degrees but actually all the way around here is 295 degrees now where those two lines cross is going to be ship C okay so that answers the first part of the question draw an accurate diagram to show the position of ship C. Mark the position of ship C with a cross and label it C. Okay, so let's have a look now at another ship D is on a bearing of 128 degrees from ship C. Okay, so let's just um, very quickly sketch that out. So as we mentioned before, that it's going to be north clockwise. So this is the north and we're going to look at a clockwise turn of 128 degrees, okay? So again, I'm going to use this type of protractor and mark that at 128 degrees, which is about there. Hopefully you can see that just in the very edge of the screen there. So if I now draw this line, the diagram is looking a little bit complicated, but basically what we mean is, is that ship D is somewhere along this bearing. Now in this particular case, doesn't really matter how far it is, but we're being asked to work out the bearing of ship C from ship D. So let's say, for instance, if we put ship D here. Okay, so what we're being asked to do, if this is the northerly point, okay, and this is ship D, basically we're being asked to calculate this angle north clockwise. Okay, right, so there's a couple of things that we need to be aware of, and this is where um, a couple of different techniques come into play. So, if you can imagine that if ship D is on a bearing of 128 degrees from ship C, it means that this angle here is 128 degrees, okay? So hopefully you can see that goes then to this line, which is gonna go down to here. And because of corresponding angles, this is also 
128 degrees. So this angle along here, it's very difficult to draw on the video, is going to be the same as this angle along here because of corresponding angles. Okay, which means that because a straight line, in other words, from this point around to this point is 180 degrees, if I add 180 degrees to 128 degrees, I can figure out the bearing of ship C. So 180 degrees plus 128 degrees, well, that's going to be 308 degrees. So the answer to part B of the question is going to be from the north all the way around clockwise is going to be 308 degrees and that would be the answer to the second question okay i hope that's been helpful to you please do have a look at the other videos within the playlist if you're not sure about anything always add a comment i'll come back to you and i'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video